The inspiration for this cake came from going to an exhibition in Paris, where we saw the ex-pastry chef from the Elysee, who made a cake like this when the Queen came in France. He had to make a cake which was low in sugar and fat, so it is ideal to finish your heavy Christmas dinner as it is very light, fruity and creamy. To download the recipe sheet, click on the link below. And we ask for a small donation to help with our project. Well, we're going to start off by making our fruit uh, disco. Uh, we make this a little bit beforehand, so it's time to set in the freezer. So what we do, we start off by taking a bowl. We take our sugar. And we take our pectin. And we just uh, give it a very good mix together, like this. Then we leave it to the side for the moment. Now we're going to prepare a fruit. So um, me, I use a uh, compote or a fruit puree with uh, low sugar content. So I put this in my saucepan as well for the, for the honey. And mix it together. So it mixes well together. Now I put it on my stove. So it just needs to heat up to 40 degrees. So I use my thermometer. Now my mix is at 40 degrees. I take it off the heater. And we add our sugar and pectin to it. And we mix it in very well. Now what we do, we just pour our mix into our mould. You can use a silicone mould, which you can find uh, in the description underneath. For today I'm using a uh, ring. It's easier with a silicone. Now we put that in the freezer and we leave it there for the minimum of half an hour. But it's best for one or two hours. Now we're going to make the biscuit part of our cake. Uh, we start off by sieving uh, almond, uh, ice and sugar, and our flour. So they're all nicely um, broken up and it aerates a bit and takes out all the lumps. So with these bits here which are left, with a spoon we just uh, push them through. Now we add the uh, egg whites, uh, sugar to our mixing bowl. With our whisk we give it a pre-whisk. Now we're going to whisk it up until it comes to a snow. Now it's come to a whisk, to a pick. I know it's ready. Now what we do, we add a flour and almond mix. And we fold it in gently uh, so we don't destroy too much of the air. Afterwards, your biscuit is nice and light. Now, what we do, we're going to uh, pipe our mixture out. But first, we have to uh, lightly oil or butter our rings uh, so it doesn't stick. So now we're going to pipe them out using a piping bag and a tube. I use a size 13, so it's a nice large size. So we put our mixture in. Push it all the way to the bottom. Turn the top as always. 
and then we do the outside and then we pipe inwards you have to make it about to one thin centimeter thick now they're ready to be baked we bake them at 180 degrees for 18 minutes Well, now we're going to make a uh, mousse. It's in two parts. The first part, uh, egg uh, mousse. We make that first, then afterwards we make the rest afterwards. So we start off by making a syrup. So in our saucepan, we add our water. We add our sugar. And we mix it in. And then we wait till it comes to 80 degrees. And when it comes to 80 degrees, we take it off the heat. Now, now we're at 80 degrees. We take it off the heat and we add it to our eggs. First we make a mix with egg yolks. We add it to our mixing bowl. Then we beat it till it's nice and light and fluffy. Now what we do, we add our syrup gently to our eggs. So we mix it just so it cools down and we put it into a bowl and we use it later on. In a saucepan we put a fromage blanc or a Greek yogurt. A cream, the honey, and with a spoon, we mix this all together. Then we add the vanilla pod. What we do, we cut it in half. One in your fingers. We scrape all the bits of vanilla. Mix that in well. We add our two pods and we let it marinate for half an hour. Well now it's been uh, half an hour, mm, you can really smell the vanilla. We're going to prepare our gelatine leaves. What we do is put them into cold water so they soften up so we can use them in, in five minutes to add them to our sauce. Now it's been five minutes, the gelatine has been in the cold water. We're going to heat up a Greek yogurt and cream with our um, vanilla pod. We heat it up to 40 degrees. It's very important we make it to 40 degrees, otherwise the gelatine won't work. Now it's at uh, 40 degrees, we take it off the heat. We take out the two uh, vanilla pods and we add uh, our gelatine we take each leaf squeeze the water out and then whisk it in now we add uh, our egg mix and we mix it in
And now for the last step, we take uh, the rest of the cream, put it into our bowl, and we whisk it up so it's nice and light and fluffy. What we do, we incorporate gently a uh, vanilla Greek yogurt mix with a whipped cream. Well, now we're ready to put the cake together. Now we've made all our elements, so we can now start to put the cake together. Uh, what you need is a silicone mold. You can click on the link below and you can see uh, what we use. If you buy it uh, through this link, uh, it would help our channel. Uh, so we can keep uh, making new products and uh, keep uh, growing and developing. Uh, otherwise you can find them uh, in the stores. Well, well now we start off by putting uh, some of our vanilla mix into our mold. We need to make sure we cover the whole bottom bit. So we have our fruit layer and we have our cake or biscuits so the easiest to do is take one put it on your fruit turn it over and take off the clean film and then we put this gently into our mold it's a lot easier than trying to put your fruit layer at the same time, then we take our second biscuit, put it down nicely, and we push it down. So as you see, I we'll put my knife. It's just underneath the top of the the top of the uh, mold. And then what we do, we fill in the gaps with the rest of the filling. Down just a bit. Now we place this in the freezer for two to three hours so it all sets nicely. So now it's been a couple of hours in the freezer. To check that it's ready to come out the mold, when you pull the sides away, it comes away nicely. So you go all the way around, at the same time, releases the air inside. Then we take uh, a cooling rack, may I put a piece of plastic on the top, we can use as well a uh, piece of um, paper. We turn it over and we just lift it up. And there we have our cake. Now we've demolded the ghetto, we let it uh, warm up just a little bit in the fridge for an hour and then we're going to colour it uh, with a colour bomb. Now we're going to put some sugar pearls everywhere, so it looks like a cushion. So here you can see the final cake, which looks really great, and your friends will be really amazed at what you've done. So don't forget to click on the link below for the full technical sheet and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you can see our new videos when they come out.